Okay, for collision two, we now have a small cart and a large cart, and you can tell the large cart because it has masses on it. That's what makes it large. Um, and again, we're gonna do an elastic collision where the, cart, the large cart is at rest and the small cart has some initial velocity. And so, again, the large cart's on the right, it's gonna be at rest. The small cart is gonna come in with some initial velocity. And so what we see happen is the small cart moves in the opposite direction with some velocity smaller than before. And the large cart moves to the right also with a smaller velocity than the initial velocity of the cart.